Besides using a waveform, another way that you can really get the cues right for when a sound should occur is with the use of markers. If you look at the right side of the timeline, we have this thing called a comp marker bin. Little, little arrow shaped thing here. We can click on this guy and drag it to a place on a timeline. And this is our marker channel. And what we can do here is we can drag out as many as we need. And we can double click on a marker on the little arrow to open up this composition marker dialog box. Here we can see the position of the marker. We can also type a comment here. So for example, I can say insert scratching sounds. So I'll go ahead and type. I'll just type insert sounds for now. And then I can put other notes here. So if I'm doing things that require chapters like DVDs and that kind of thing, I can enter chapter. I can put a uniform resource locator or a website. I can have a frame target and so on. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice that it says insert sound right here. And I can also, of course, hover my mouse, as you can see there, over this. And then I'll be given the exact, we put it right there, insert sounds, as you can see. If I need to edit that, all I have to do is once again double click on the marker, and it reopens this window, and I can go ahead and enter notes. Now this is helpful if you're working with a team of people, and they work, you know, on, at the same workstation. I can type some notes for someone and say, I need you to insert lightning here, heavier rain, you know, thunderclaps and that kind of stuff. And if they want to, when they finish doing the task, they can go ahead and say, check, for example. You know, they've already done it and they can put the word check here. Or they can just go ahead and get rid of this whole thing here. And I can see that this has been done. So this is a really nice way to collaborate with other people. Or it's just a great way to keep notes yourself, things that you want to do later on. And even if you don't have a notebook handy, and you want to research something later on, for example, the different sounds cats make, for example, you could go ahead and double click on one of these and say, later on, research cat sounds. Or don't forget to buy more coffee, which mine always says that for some reason, every single one of these markers. So that is an example of how you can use these markers here to collaborate with people, to also use them as cues for sounds and other kinds of effects. To get rid of a marker, all you need to do is right click on it, a little arrow here, and choose to delete this marker or you can delete all markers and you can even lock the markers so you can't move them. So I'll go ahead and delete this marker here and now it's gone. And that's a look at markers.